cannon in front of them, machine guns above them. The most famous and famously looted museum in the Middle East is back in business. Plundered of many of its storeroom treasures in the post-war chaos of 2003, Iraq's National Museum had a formal reopening ceremony Monday. But while its galleries are open to prime ministers, journalists, VIPs and actresses playing queens from ancient Mesopotamia, no one is quite clear on when the museum will admit the public, some of whom turned up outside the gates Monday. Right now, Iraqi civilization is returning and we're going to see our history. Tassin al-Sheikhli, a government spokesman for the Baghdad security plan, said the fact of the reopening was a sign of improving conditions in Baghdad. Museum staff say what happened in 2003 was a disaster and the museum has not fully recovered. But others were proud that the museum has regained some of its glory and thousands of its looted treasures. Large exhibits of Akkadian, Sumerian and Assyrian treasures were on display. But for many of those gathered, the real draw was not the hopes of gaining a glimpse of Iraq's distant past, but of seeing in person the man currently responsible for their present and future, Prime Minister Nouri Kamal al-Malaki. We have problems, sick people and no place to live. We are standing here waiting for Maliki. We haven't seen him. God willing, when they leave, if they let us in, I will bring my family. It is unclear when that will be. The Iraqi government and museum officials say they hope it will be days or weeks, but no date has been set.